Welcome back <laughs> to another episode of the Artist Access. Yes, I am here with one of my sisters, my sister from Soul Poetry. I'm here with the lovely Madame Preston. Preston. What, what your real name is, though? Let's give them your government, too, if you don't mind. I go by Jay Lamore. Jay Lamore. Jay Lamore is my government name. Um, Madam President is what I go by on stage because I will be running Talk for president it. 2044. Okay. Yeah. Vote for more. Yeah. However, I always set the tone and be the example. So that's why it's precedent. Madam President. President. Yes, yes. And you serious about this president thing, right? 2044, vote for more. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, let's start right there. Like, what, like, what made you really want to take such a big step like that and say you want to run for president? Well, um, of the country of the United um, States of America. Yes, POTUS. Call me POTUS. Okay. So, yes. Um, when I was in undergrad, actually, I was involved in a lot of organizations. I was mm -hmm. the president of a couple, and um, sometimes I didn't turn off my Madam President switch. So some of my friends will make fun of me, you know, like I might say something, they'd be like, okay, Madam President. Um, and so when I was actually looking for a name, a stage name, a pen name, that just seemed very, very appropriate. Um, and so as career, you know, I, I grew up, I changed careers, got involved into public admin, I mm. uh, worked for a couple nonprofits. Um, I, I want to do policy work, you know, so I said, well, I'm always talking about what needs to happen, mm -hmm, what, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. what we need to do, um, how we should be working. I feel like I have good ideas. I love, you know, connecting humans, having conversations about these things. I can have these tough conversations and I'm really ever really offended right. um and even right. if i am right. i right. feel like i have um the rapport with people i build rapport with people so that we can again have those right. tough conversations and that's right. what we need in the president yes so i said why don't i do this first I black talking. lady president <laughs> huh yeah, yeah that's Hey, you know, well, you got my vote. You already know you got my vote. That's, that's what you know we what love. You know, 2044, yeah. vote for more. Every time yeah. I meet and talk to somebody, I say this is a stop on a campaign. Yeah. So I want to say thank you, and I appreciate you for okay. letting um, this yeah. be a stop yes. on the, the 22 year yeah. campaign trail. <laughs> the pre <laughs> the, the pre yeah. campaign went out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so I appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, so I, had, I had the president on my show. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so look, hey, hey, KP, will you pass, pass her hope? Her wine, she left the wine over there. Like, that, look, this is part of the show. You know right, what I'm talking you're right, about? You're right, you're right, you're yeah. right. Did you leave it over there on purpose? You didn't want to bring it on camera? Yeah, you know, sometimes I'm, I wouldn't say overly conscious, but a little conscious about that kind of stuff. You said do it again. You know, we live, KP. KP said do it again for the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so look here. I want you to take me back to, uh, to your poet writing. Now, how far back do you go with writing poetry and performing poetry? Okay, so writing, I want to say, um, like, elementary school, I started writing. I have a lot of brothers, um, and my mama was like, you got to put your feelings somewhere. So I started journaling, and um, I remember getting a poem book and stuff, and I was like, I'm going to try that. So mm. I started writing poetry, I would say in elementary, but wow. never thought to perform a poem, ever. Um, I used to watch Def Jam online, you know, I'm a little young, so they was only on YouTube. Uh, so they was only on YouTube, but I used to watch Def Jam poetry slams and things like that, but I just never thought I would do it. And then in college, um, I met a young lady in an organization and um, they were like, hey, you should, you should do your poetry. And I was like, why? Like, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. They're like, they need somebody at, you know, this intermission to do a poem at a pageant and I was like, so? And they were like, but you write poetry. And I'm like, but I don't perform poetry. So um, I actually wrote <laughs> that, this on that, a- Was that your, your scared of the stage talking at the moment, at the I time? Was, I mean, it was just, it's just different. <laughs> People don't, even, even poets now don't understand it's different. Writing right, a poem right. is completely different than performing, performing a poem. Oh, yeah, and oh, yeah, well, definitely. Like, I literally wrote on flashcards. That's how I like, I was like, I'm gonna write this little poem down, keep some little notes, you know? Right. And when I went up there, I didn't use, I didn't look at the flashcards, didn't use it not once and I, that was the day that I was like, all right, I think, <laughs> I think I'm going to do this again, you know. So, I, you know, was started it, was the undergrad. It, was it the reaction from the audience receiving your work that made you be like, okay, I, I, I like this? Originally, it was how I felt okay. because I, didn't, I don't think I, you know, I'm not even hearing the claps right, or the right, nothing right, right, right after. Right, right, it's like right. I was proud of myself, so yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I can't get past B, you right, know what I mean, right. to even address or really 
break down with the the people who were clapping for me and things like that. Right. Um, but then when people would talk to me after poems, mm -hmm. like after I did a poem and stuff like that, people would come up or people would tell me that they was going through certain things or you know, like dang, they thought they was alone or or they never thought about certain certain things. Like they might have been going through the same thing, but they just never thought about it the way that I thought about it and it helps them or mm -hmm. you know, that kind of stuff was like that's life changing. Those are people call that small stuff, but those are the small things that really like do change. It changed wor the world, like right. we, connections like that, because that's really what a bunch of those meaningful connections. That's what keep a person yeah. here. That's what yeah. keep a person yeah. right. You know, yeah. so that's all we really need to be doing for each other. Right, right. And are you from Texas? Are you native? No, from I'm. <laughs> You're not from here. No, 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 no. I'm from St. Louis. Saint I'm from St. Louis. Louis. Yeah. So my bad if you hear some R's. A little. A I, just little yeah. I just heard it. I just heard it. A little tough. <laughs> that's what I thought you were asking. I was like, ooh, no, it's leaking. No, I thought okay. Was... I've been here for a while though. Um, yeah, I've been here for a while, like thirteen years. Okay. And um, you know, I spent you know half my time here, half my time there for a little while, but. Officially here for the last like five six years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I've been here about six years now too. Okay. Yeah. When you first moved out here, what, what was the uh, energy like when you first got out here? Like, I'm a. It was a. It's a culture shock. So okay. in St. Louis, like, <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't have like white friends to go to their house after school. I only. I knew Mean Girls and like Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> I like knew it was just gonna be like that interacting with people. So when I got to Texas, I moved into the energy corridor. It was people from like all over the world, people with like six bathrooms in their house for no reason and stuff like that. So I'm like, this is, you know, it was just crazy. But even some of those people I was meeting was like real down to earth. I moved down here with no family. My mom just was like, we finna go. So me and my youngest brother, we just upped and moved. So just really like diving into the culture and like having to develop some type of support system with people that didn't look like me, sound like me, talk like me, and still having to find like common ground and see that these are people too, because they, they feel me, they see me, you know, they try to help me, I try to help them, things like that. You build a relationship with people. So mm -hmm. it was a culture shock. I definitely say it was like a lot of, it was a lot of getting used to, but I loved it. Some stuff I was like, yo, this is straight out of a movie and, right. and I don't even understand, right, but. Right, right. Other stuff, it was like, I'm really glad that I did grow up where I grew up, and it was rough, and, you know, if you know anything about St. Louis, mm -hmm. people go, you know, like, ooh, St. Louis, mm -hmm. but I'm definitely got, glad that I had the experience I did as a child. I still value it while I'm here, you know, with right. opportunities and all that kind of stuff, like, I'm definitely built different than my peers, you know, and that gives you a leg up in life. Right, yeah. right, right. You're very creative. <laughs> yes. I see you got on your, uh, some of your work on your pants. Yes. So, um, yeah, my merch, I do custom merch. Right, um, right. I put people's art. I try to capture who they are as people, as artists, as creators, um, and just, you know, make, make merchandise for them. I just throw my little MP44 right. hand stitch signature right. on right. all of right. them. Right. But, you know, I try to design for the people, and that's, yeah. you know. We you know we had the show uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, what was it called? Spitch uh, and stitches. Spitch yeah, and stitches. Spitch and stitches. Yep. And you designed everyone's uh, a, yeah. a, a, a personal piece. Yeah. And you asked questions before you did mm -hmm. to get an idea. And so, one of the questions you asked was uh, what it was like a famous quote or something that you yeah. say. Yeah. Quotes you live by. And so I gave you one, and and I'm so glad you put that on the jacket. <laughs> that's that to me. That I say that at the end of every, every show too. You know what I'm talking about. So. I'm glad you decided to put that on the jacket. Yeah. You feel me? What, what made you decide to, all, all the questions you asked, what made you decide to put that? Well, okay, so definitely a spiritual person. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes I don't have like very specific answers for things. I looked over where you sent me. That mm -hmm. spoke to me okay. personally. Okay. That's the thing okay. that I feel like I connected with yeah. you on yeah. when yeah. you sent me yeah. everything yeah. you sent me yeah. back. Yeah. And so. That's something now. I was, I, I was like, mm, like I'm when I was reading it, you okay, yeah. Now, and uh, what I like about that is like, if you notice, it's, it's the same letters. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And so, so letters, so letters are like sacred geometry, right? And so, okay. yeah, letters are symbols, and symbols, certain letters have a whole certain frequencies, right? Okay. So, like certain, like the M, O, and W, and and and, and certain letters hold a powerful frequency, right? Okay. And so, 
like I say, it, it just it it, it it says a lot. Like yeah. once you own, because it, it's true. Like once you can own the moment, the now, yeah, now. of everything, yeah. And you and you, it's like that's when you really win. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about.